Is this the worst restaurant at CityWalk? Prince of the Bear here, and we're back at CityWalk today because it's time for some shrimp. It's been four years since we've done a review at Bubba Grump Shrimp. Yes, and it's time to return because we want to get every restaurant here at CityWalk a little bit of love. Because remember, as your number one choice of foodie infotainment, she's vegan, I'm not. Let's go catch a tail. Be sure to not eat the shrimp. You heard the girl. that if Lieutenant Dan was a drink, he would be this Coronarita with the America. And I got Patron, because we gotta be extra with the Corona. This is a create your own margarita. They do have a Coronarita. But to create my own, I got a tahini Rim and Patron, and it's very smooth. It's not as um, sugary or heavy as it would have been if I had just gotten like a standard base margarita. And I guess it makes me like a margarita snob, but I need something that's not gonna taste like a straight sugar bomb in order to enjoy my beverage. So I'm gonna give it a three out of five margaritas. I definitely think this one leaves a lasting impression over the one that we had four years ago. Mind you, my mind is a little fuzzy since 2020. A lot of things have changed, but I do think this one tastes better. Say what you will about Bubblegum Shrimp Company. I will give it. This is the most themed restaurant in all of the Universal property. Now, is it the what? best themed restaurant? Or not? Toothsome? Toothsome is mostly screens, like most Universal. Bubblegum is authentic. Wood, license plates, things everywhere. Best, most themed restaurant in the world. Ooh. I was thinking that to be quite terrible. Like, drained from the bar, but actually quite tasty. Not overly sweet. The punch of tequila. A little Corona Rita thing going on. Honestly, the princess probably did it the right way. 3.75 out of 5. Out of five. I like something that's a little less floral, a little less hoppy. If you're a beer connoisseur, I think you're going to enjoy this a little bit more than I do. I would give it a two and a half out of five beers. I think beer's good. Bear's going to like this beer, but it's not the beer that I would like. So we have Jenny's Blondale. I know you would, most of you would like to make Jenny the villain of Forrest Gump. And I can understand that from a certain point of view. But from my point of view, she was just a woman trying to live her life. And life is hard. And for that, I cheers, because I can understand that. Ooh. It's given like base Sam Adams, but a little bit lighter. That level of like bitterness and hoppiness, but still very smooth and drinkable. So it's got a lot of hop and slightly bitter, but like I could drink this on a boat, fishing, for shrimp, even though. I can honestly say I've never been to fish in, in my entire life. I drink it, four out of five points. What university do you play football for? Alabama. Alabama, <laughs> what number was he in Bama? What were we saying? 44. 44. <laughs> Alabama, what number was he in Bama? All right, and um, he also uh, loved one woman his whole life. What's her name? Jenny. Jenny. What was the name of all of his fishing boats? Jenny. 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 <laughs> Here we have a vegan pasta. This is not on the menu, you can ask for it. It's basically just a pasta with a lemon oil. And it's got onions, broccoli, tomato, and a little bit of, oh no, that's just broccoli. Well, cool, because last time we came here, it was just broccoli, 
and onions. Big pieces of onions. They didn't even put garlic in it. This looks way better than last time. Cheers. This is so much better than the last time I had it. I definitely remember that. And what sets it off really is just the lemon, just a little bit of lemon in that oil makes a world of a difference. It is super tasty, though basic. But if you want like a good pasta that, and Vivo is busy, come here. I would give it a three out of five pastas. I'm not obviously gonna proactively come here for this. It's been four years since I came here for this, but it is an option if you're here with other seafood people. Now, fair warning, as a vegan, it does smell like seafood in here. So if you have, if you have sensitivity to seafood scents, definitely do not come here. But if you can maintain, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit, but if you can you know, handle yourself, it's like Cape May level if you go to Disney World. It's like Cape May. I have been eating food with the princess now for a long time. On video, for over six years. Uh, I have never seen her work some magic like that before. Or maybe I'm just not paying attention. Is that why you have a spoon pasta? Is to... Yeah. I always thought I just gave you a spoon to give you a spoon. I feel like Forrest right now. Forrest Mama said, stupid is stupid does. I feel stupid for never using a spoon before a pasta. That is so much easier. <laughs> I've been making a mess and slinging juices and noodles all over the place. That takes like no time at all. The pasta, honestly, is good. I know last time I called it kind of basic. Um, and yes, it is a little above basic, but it's, it's the fact that they do the pasta and it still tastes good. It doesn't taste like something where it's just like, here's some oil and pasta. They could have not added the lemon, but the fact that they're willing to do it says something. Uh, as a plant-based person, like the princess said, I would agree that it's probably not the place for you, but if your friends are in the move or some odd bayou theme food dining, you at least have something here that you can eat. You don't gotta stop, is what we're saying. Well, I'll be with three and a half out of five falls. It's better than it has any right now. So, it's time to get a lighter fare. Usually you come to Bubba Gump Shrimp, almost everything in this restaurant is fried in some way, shape, or form. I decided to go with like the low calorie, healthy, adjacent option. So I went with the Bourbon Street Shrimp uh, Mahi, which usually comes with mashed potatoes, but you the options for fries or broccoli as well. I got the broccoli. Uh, so we're gonna, the plate is, um, it's interesting for $25. You got four pieces of shrimp, two pieces of mahi. Let's try the shrimp first. Some nice blackened shrimp sitting in the bourbon sauce. Blackened, the bourbon sauce is slightly sweet. Maybe a little bit buttery, but not like heavily buttery, which is, which is good. A little spice too, not spicy, but of the spices. If uh, spices give you a problem, I would just like a one out of 10 on the spice scale. I would give the shrimp a 3.75 out of 5. Let's try the chicken. Chicken? Oh, sorry, the fish. It looks like chicken, the way that it's like all blackened, but it's mahi-mahi, black and mahi-mahi in that same sauce. Okay, well cooked, and I don't have to throw hands like Lieutenant Dan. If you had dried my mahi-mahi out, we would have a problem. We would fight. And the mahi, 3.25 out of 5 pots. Let's try the shrimp and the mahi together, since that's basically what we ordered. Don't know why I'm using a knife, you don't really need it for the fish. It actually works quite well. I like the combination of the sauce, the shrimp and the mahi. You get that taste of the ocean of one of, uh, you know, Ginny one, two or three, and then we got broccoli, it's healthy. Uh, I'd give this as it is, three and a half out of five pots. You're probably gonna leave hungry. I can't forget about the broccoli because I did ask for it. I will take broccoli and mashed potatoes any day of the week. The princess would never agree with me on that, but me, I love tree-shaped vegetables. Well cooked, perfect amount of tree, perfect amount of stem, lightly buttered, salted. No problems there, that is above board broccoli. Three out of five pots. I had shrimp, but it's pasta. Bubba Gump, still, I know that it's an odds place in City Walk, it's like right there at the end of the walkway, but 
I mean, it's doing better than some other restaurants like Cowfish. Yeah, we don't like that place. I no. know some of you do, we don't. I do say my lips are a little bit oily, but I'm not mad at that. I actually think that my pasta was seasoned really well. Head Chef made mine, so yeah. cool. Um, they actually messed up my pasta the first time. They gave it to me with cheese on top and a cream, and the garlic bread also had like butter on it. And the um, manager took it back, and the head chef made my vegan pasta, but they didn't actually charge us for the pasta. So we just got our drinks and Bear's food, and we are Landry's Club members as well, so we got some Landry's points on there as well. I do recommend if you plan on going to any Landry's restaurant in, in at least four or five times in your life, you should probably get one of those cards. It's worth it. Even, and our tip is that usually most of our Landry's points this comes from getting to-go drinks at the bar at Yak and Yeti. Yeah. Because you get points for that too. And if you're already going to eat beer, and might as well. The, you can use the points for free stuff, for discounts on your food. You get points on your birthday too. And it's not just the Disney restaurants. If you have like a Morton Steakhouse, a you have Crab options. Shack. There's like 50 restaurants in the Landry's family that you can use the card with. So try it. We actually bought ours here at, jo at um, Bubba Gump last time we came here in 2020. And we've been using the benefits of it pretty consistently every yep. year. We want to get birthday. We get a birthday. Yeah, we got some free drinks at Yak and Yeti last time. Two free Victory Golden Monkeys with our yep. points. But well, I want to know: Have you guys been to Landry's restaurant? If there's a Landry's restaurant you'd like to see us visit, let us know in the comments below. If there's anything else you just do, Universal Landry's, Orlando, or otherwise, that will always be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Pumaga! We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear might eat himself into Jenna. I'm going to be a shrimp boat captain. Dan? You heard the girl. Popcorn shrimp, grilled shrimp, blackened shrimp. Butterfly shrimp, coconut shrimp, bang bang shrimp, shrimp fritters, shrimp stuffed rolls, popcorn shrimp, popcorn shrimp.